Good England here, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is Lords. So we are back on the <coughs> Paragus 2 ship because uh, unfortunately it seemed that there was a mod in the override folder that caused the crash. So I've already played for two hours more in addition to the place where we are now. Uh, but I played on the DVD version of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. That means that we have already played for two additional hours on the version with the worst graphics. And I got the game to load this area fine. <coughs> um, and I am not using all those mods. Could load the latest save uh, without removing the mods, but couldn't load this area with uh, the, the mod folder, the override folder. So in, in the DVD version I had some mods too, but uh, to compare I had like about 150 or so megabit of mods inside that folder. But on the other one I had like uh, 14 gigabyte of mods. I tried moving over all the, mo mo all the mods to, to the DVD version and the crash started to happen there too. So that's when I realized that it's a mod that is causing the crash in this area so now it works because I have deleted the override folder and then started the other smaller override folder so <coughs> by playing using Steam we have much better resolution and graphics so of course I want to play with the better graphics and also the whole point of playing Steam games is because I have only 40 days remaining until Steam and support for Windows 7. So if I'm not gonna play the Steam version, then I would have no choice but to focus on a different game that is on Steam. So we'll f play this part again on the Steam version with the better graphics. There's one benefit of playing with the DVD version, and that's th the fact that the dialogue boxes are bigger. If you speak to this guy, what is it? Atom, Why are we stopping? You can see that the text is very small on, on the DVD version it's very very big so that's the main benefit of using the DVD version we see the graphics are much better here <coughs> what do you know about Paragus? I know we need to get out of here like I said it's a minefield looking for any excuse to blow can you tell me why you, you were looked up here, at least? Look, I'd be happy to share my whole life story when we aren't getting chased by assassin droids and Sith troops, alright? Okay, <clears throat> alright, let's keep moving then. So yeah, we've already played uh, quite a bit, but... Um, yeah, we, we will have to replay with the good graphics. So the previous video, part um, 3, will be the same stuff as in, in this video but it it out the graphic larger text box heavy pistol. So you got the pistol there. Which uh, can give it to this guy. Two eleven one six. This is much better. Did I miss it previously? I don't know. Switch weapons. Now he should have a much better pistol at least. Yeah, it sucks that we need to replay stuff, but uh, at least we will get to experience it with better graphics and uh, otherwise this time won't uh, count on Steam. We'll empty the cylinder. Get the credits. Soon the Jedi will be parted. 
Just a cease will show up. Are you all right? <clears throat> there we are. These were my quarters. This was your room? When? Before I lost consciousness and woke up on Paragus. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. All right. We'll open up the foot locker. Get the basic um, lineage. Know what that is, and we'll see us. We'll see a cons armband. See a con state pad and med pack. Scat. It sucks that the text is smaller. That's the only b uh, negative thing here. We will um, have a Lorian. Okay, we will change to this. Very probably a lot of uh, game enhancing mods that they removed. Like I said, deleted 14 gigabytes of files, but <coughs> I don't care. At least we get to play the game with the good graphics. Uh, when I think about it, um, it might be a problem that if, if we had uh, the, the cut content restored stuff. So I don't know how it is with that. I think we should have that. Um, I believe we the restored content mod. I think that's not the one we deleted. Because I believe the CD verse, the DVD version also had that. The cut content stuff. Could be wrong. It, it's written in the main menu. We'll check that after this episode. I do want all the cut content, but I don't care about other mods that may um, cause the game to crash and such. Okay, we'll move in here. There are enemies here. Right, we won the battle. Get the credits on that guy. Good. The 
guy almost died there. He had less than half his health. Alright, move in here. To the computer. I insert data pad, check treatment request. Opelsia Khan is her name, the main character's name. We won't read this, we've already done it. Identify, call the tank, we'll do it. Check medical logs. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Alright. That was Sith wreckage report. Now it's access log Sith survivor. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, and then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. All right. Says log emergency broad broadcast. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him are Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but... I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank with a Sith Lord... Alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. All right, return to main console. Check medical logs. <coughs> Access log. Sis wreckage report. Something's wrong. The strip. No, we already watched that. <coughs> Let's see. Check treatment request. Pelsia Okay, check. Identify called the tank again. Clicked. We ended this too soon, probably. We'll wait longer this time. See what happens. If anything happens. Okay, return to main menu. Nothing happened. Check camera recordings. Ah, uh, the evil guy again. He broke free from his... Like, uh, from that place. <laughs> Alright. Treat injury, attempt to get chemicals for the medical computer dis uh, dispenser okay Think medical logs journal and try added experience points received 100 items received chemicals items lost take the items here Neural band and chemicals. Okay, we'll change the neural band. Maybe not. Plus for stealth. Awareness plus one. Restricted, not used, disabled by your focus. Developed after the uh, XR Kun War, this item bolsters the willpower, bolsters the willpower of the user. Elect electricity, re uh, reinforcing established mental patterns. Public troops call it Little Froggy. Will plus two. Okay, I will re restore the other one. Uh, 
and uh, might want someone else to use that. Close. Can level up with the main character. Take this too. We'll find a medical droid here. They got components and chemicals here. Then we have this droid, reactivate the droid. Experience points 90, gain 90 experience points. Okay. Here we have a workbench. We'll open this door here. Got some enemies, let's kill them. More where that came from. Fallen. All right, gone. I don't want to go there yet. Back for now. Okay. Character is over there. Take the stuff here. Need to back away a bit. Take more damage from the With the blast. Item, Rodian Blade, and credits. Rodian Blade, let's check. You want to check the Jedi. One ten, one six, one one, plus one six fire, plus my torch, to six. Rodian blade. On hit, attribute damage strength DC 14. Balanced plus 2 plus slash 0 plus 1 is 2 weapon penalty if used. <laughs> In the offhand, excuse me. Attack, modifier plus 1. Unupgradable. I think we'll keep the old one. Uh, if that one was better, it will level up the characters. Destroy this chest too. We'll take stuff from the others first. This chest, broken item, credits, and energy shield. Alright, 
take this stuff too. Repair kit and uh, get more and gauntlets and refilled parts and components. More and gauntlets, interesting. Do they do? Demolitions plus two, security plus two. Use plus one, the exchange casual gloves, then we have the accuracy gloves, and these damage physical plus four, minus one when unarmed. Okay, I don't think we will change. I hear you. I hear you. feeling about this all right would you stop saying that or two what's wrong three your bad feeling is going to be replaced by finding pain if you don't be quiet four save your feelings for when we're out of here five you shut up and keep moving uh, two what's wrong don't you feel it something's gonna get real wrong real quick how do you know that? Or you have to be careful then. But you have to keep moving. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. Athan has the special ability to sense anything that places him at risk. When he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. Influence gained Athan. Alright, then we will save the game. Crash, we could overwrite that. Okay, Harbinger. Crew quarters. Ah, uh, we probably went back to where we already were. Go back there again. We move straight towards this door. We soon part ways with the Jedi. Korea. I came to warn you, Jedi. You know not what path you walk. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. Would have been better if they had added a young master that would teach us instead of an old person. Sure, there are a lot of old male Jedi's, but still no one wants to play as an old lady. <coughs> Let's destroy this door. We'll soon get the droid. 
avoid. There are two for now. Spike, parts and credits, we'll get them. Engine maintenance procedure. All right. Log out. Experience points gained. Received 250. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. <clears throat> it's the only way to get around the sealed door and into the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is. So we'll go for a All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. I sense you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Owned, but she didn't even have a lightsaber. And our main character Wh can feel What's wrong? Pain. Are you alright? Damn it, hold on! It's only a little farther! Don't give up on me now! What happened to you? <coughs> My hand 
felt like it was being dipped in molten carbonite. Kreia, I think she was wounded badly. I will go for two. Huh? How do you know that? I just do call it an instinct reaction. I think it was through the force. I will go to three. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if sleeps with vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. All right, let's go. And here is the droid. It's a utility droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. I know we ran into that protocol droid earlier. He attacked us too. Or two. Can you travel T3? Three. three. Warm, up, warm up your system and let's go. Or four. You may still have a use for you. Follow me. We'll go for one. How did you survive? Yeah, I thought that droid was killed previously. Uh, two. Don't blame yourself. If you hadn't gotten us out of the administration level, you'd have never made it this far. Or two, one. How did you survive? He just dumped you into this fuel pipe. Question mark. One. Sounds like he just wanted to keep you out of the way until he could find a way off the station with us. Don't blame yourself. If you hadn't gotten us out of the administration level, you'd have never made it this far. Then let's go. T3 has joined your party. He has the ability to make programming spikes on demand. You can also upgrade the items if asked. Tronal entry added. Experience points gained. Received 100. Intelligence gained. T3 M4. Just say the word. He has leveled up too. We'll out level him up. I will check his gear. We'll equip the droid self sustenance unit. And the droid impact armor ma mark. Ion Blaster. Okay. We'll control the droid. It will save here. Or right this one. The graphics are a lot better here. Remove the mine, pair kit components, and hangar 25th control conduit. Get them. We got them from this thing there. Okay, we'll remove the mine. Then we'll be some battles. Remember this, we'll fight a bunch of trolls here. Take this <coughs> plasteel cylinder. The credits. It's more fun to play with the graphics being better. This clear difference. The graphical quality. Graphical fidelity of things. Sonic grenade will get it. They will attack those guys over there. Ah, the iron cannon is really effective against droids. effective. I used it too little previously. 
Let's use it again. Yeah, very good. Destroy that one now. And open up this minefield. Move the mine. Get the minor sonic detonator. That corpse. The droid. Then we'll attack the droids over here. More where that came from! Good. Yvonne. More droids. Kill them. Got it. Scrap metal. We have a plasteel cylinder there. We'll take what's inside. Interface band. Take it. We need to watch if that's. Um, uh, we have something we can put on. Droid flamethrower. Droid ion striker. Go for the flamethrower. Face band, what does it do? Damage resistance, resist 5 with Sonic. This item provides a mental interface to a store of, of uh, information on electronic systems, common in security, demolitions, and general computing functions. Okay. Let's add that for now. Over here, get the droid motion tracker. There that is. So, attack modified plus one, vanish plus two. It's the same that we already had. We used the two now. Kill the droid inside here. Remove the mine first. T3. Now we kill the droid. Time to even the odds. Alright. Kill them with flamethrower. Credits. Uh, adrenal strength, repair kit and credits we get. We get the computer, shut down emergency field, to exit ramp, we'll do it. Success, no custom charges detected. Log out. Experience points gained. 100. Now we kill the droids over there. Anything? Right, nothing to do there. We have a computer here that we want to check. Access remote cameras. Fuel line sense fuel line sensors. Maintenance level. 
entrance to the entrance to the road, maintenance area. We just here. Turn to main control. Collapse system log. Access remote cameras. Look out, nothing to do there. This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. What? The cons console, or...? Wow, slow down and, and repeat that. Then go to the terminal and open it. Okay, we'll go for the third option. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? Uh, the droid says you can open the hangar door by slicing the computer on the ramp above us. How can you even understand that noise? I'll explain someday when we're not being chased by hundred or, or more stealthed Sith killers. Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. He answer uh, differently this time. Go for this footlooker first. Ah, there's nothing there. We've been here before. This is where the guy used to stand. Place hangar control power conduit open door. We'll do it. Okay, look out. You see the 300 experience. Over here, kill the droids. More where that came from. Come out. This one out. Alright, done. Oh, there are more enemies over there. Droid is pretty strong. 
That's why I'm controlling him and because we need to use him here. Get past certain obstacles. Droid. Deflector Mark 2. Get that too. Ion Striker, get that. Okay, Mark 1. Get the Mark 2. Uh, I can't get it, what? You cannot equip this item, you don't have the prerequisites. Please see the item description. Mark 2 are more robust than Mark 1, allowing a droid to stay exposed to space even when passing close to stars. Feed required. Droid upgrade class 2. Okay, can't keep it. Remove the mines. Console system, dude. Access remote camera controls. The contamination chamber. Okay. Um, attempt to shut down the decontamination system. We'll do it. Good. We got rid of the decontamination. We didn't do that previously. Because I destroyed the. the I'm sure that they destroyed the computer. Turn to main console functions, access remote camera controls. Okay, log out. Open the door. Ah, yeah, we did do this. Recall that now. Reaper kit and med pack. Good. Reaper kit is like a med pack for droids. Okay. Reaper kit and neural band. The door. Oh, here's the Ebon Hawk. We'll save here. So we're already there. Went way faster this time. Because I had way better attack now as the droid. Then I think we will level up with uh, this girl. And then we'll move towards the Ebon Hawk. This is the loading ramp to the Ebon Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Let's enter the Ebon Hawk. I will need to shoot some sea Quick. officers. We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. Videos look 
way better than this person. your hand what happened how did you survive there is no time we must leave yeah the videos look way better now have been remastered they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up! Alright. Look, can you fly this thing or not? Or two? Isn't there anything you can do? Three, keep as much distance between them and us as you can. Four, can we jump to hyperspace? Five, fire on the asteroids. Maybe the explosion will destroy them. Or six, just do your best to keep the distance. We'll get out of this yet. Okay. Three. I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go nova. Can we jump to hyperspace? Not with all these asteroids around us. We'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field, and they're going to have a clear shot at us. Just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. You don't have any choice. Do it. Or no. Someone might still be alive in the facility. Or three. There's got to be another way. Keep evading them until we clear the field and we'll try to jump to hyperspace. Uh, we'll go for one. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. All right, the Harbinger was on the way to Telos. Two, why are these Sith looking for me? Three, how do we stop them? Four, had enough. None of this interests me. We go for one. Harbinger was on the on the way. Uh, Harbinger was on its way to Telos. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice. The Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. All right. How did you know I was on board the Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. 
Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. All right. How come I can't? Rem I don't remember any of this. Or it's an unusual set of coincidences. Three. How did we get to Paragus? Four. I've had enough. Okay. We go for one. How come I don't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. It's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. He says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus. Repaired this ship? My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get! All right, so why are these Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. I'm not a, Je a, a Jedi. Not any longer. Or, but I was exiled from the Jedi Order. Three. The next time someone calls me a Jedi, they'll be lying in a pool of their own blood. Four. I've had enough. None of this interests me. We'll go for one. I'm a, I am not a Jedi. Not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. But uh, last with the Jedi, that can't be true. Two, what happened to the Jedi? Three, the Jedi Order can't be gone. Okay, but last with the Jedi, that can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings about the Jedi on Dantooine and Coruscant. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the room of a thousand fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. All right. Fanny survivors still live, we need to warn them. Two, then the Jedi are dead, gone, and good riddance. Three, I've had enough. Okay, we go for one. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Then have it, <coughs> then have it, how do we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know. And I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. All right. Van, if you don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Do you mean? You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? Mandalorian Wars for my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. I have, go I have nothing to lose now. How bad could it be? Or two. <clears throat> I turned away from the from war once. I can do it again. Three. If I do not try, then we have lost anyway. Four. A Jedi's life is sacrifice. It's a small price to pay. I took that previously. We'll do it. Or five. If evil is not found, if evil is not fought, then we sacrifice the galaxy. Six. Only the Sis will pay the price for crossing me. Okay, we'll go for four. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn, but we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. 
Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. All right. One, she seemed well enough for someone who had just lost her hand. Two, I'm sure she can take care of herself. Three, you're right. She may need help. Can you handle things up here? Or four, I'll go check on her then. Uh, four. Chronal entry added. Experience points XP received. 1000. Light side points gained. Cargan Hall. We have a camera here. Cockpit. Here we have uh, the guy. We are in the communications room. We have the engine room where the droid went. T3. We have the exit ramp. The garage. Main hold. Medical bay. The workbench. The port dormitory. Then we have the Jedi. That's where we're going. Standard dormitory. Storage. Compartment where we need to try and reactivate the droid, but we only have one part. We need more to reactivate the droid. Let's open this door. This looks like the remains of, a, of an HK unit. All are more corroded than the one encountered on Paragus. The power core still carries a charge. The number of critical parts appear to be missing. <coughs> Repair. Diagnose the droid. It looks as if it looks as if if this droid is missing a critical po uh, four cri critical components. It's droid processor, a replacement droid chassis. Control cluster that's supposed to be stored in the chassis and its um, vocabulator. Pair, take the vocabulator and insert it in the core. We'll do it. Success, you have installed the droid's vocabulator. Step away. We got when we killed the other HK unit, they wanted to kill us. Workbench. Over here. Please stop moving around the ship. It's hard to find you. Do you know where that HK droid in the cargo bay came from? Uh, that didn't sound very convincing. Are you sure you don't know? Had other questions for you. Okay. You look like you've suffered a lot of damage over the years. How much damage? So you've, you lost a lot of programs in your heavier core, in addition to the damage in your frame. Uh, well, I'm sure you'll gain the skill back. Glad to, to have, you, have you along. Or pray you don't l lose any more of your functionality or I'll sell you, you for parts. Sell you for parts. Okay, we'll go for the first one. 
computer. I might be able to upgrade your memory core. Alright, let me take a look. Oops, must have crossed the circuit. Celarius, you're talking backwards now. We'll try again later. For now, I have questions for you. Okay. Repair. You look like you're in need of some routine maintenance. <coughs> Good. Let me tackle the main chassis first. Succeeded. That should do it. You're doing all right. Due to repair skills, T3 has gained plus one constitution. Nice. What do you mean? Faded out there for a second. You were shut down. Or at least look, what are you talking about? Or I was working on you the whole time. There's nothing wrong. I just had questions for you. Can you upgrade an item for me or need a programming spike. I'll put this to good use. For now, there was not, uh, something I else I needed. No, oh, never. Here we go now. Experience points gained. Received 250 experience. Items received. Computer spike. Intelligence gained. Uh, T3, M4. The droid gained uh, intelligence. Ah, here's the area where we got uh, the robe. Let's go with this. Good. <coughs> so we get the broken item, chemicals. And we could get sonic nullifiers, adrenal alacrity, and uh, bonadan alloy heavy suit, advanced med pack, sack cards, and Jedi robe. So the bonadan alloy heavy suit, we got the heavy suit there too, and the Jedi robe. Let's see. Level up to this is the heavy suit that we got here. Looks a bit, looked a bit weird. Minor uniform defense bonus one, heavy suit defense bonus six, max dexterity bonus plus four. Bonadan is an emerging I I industrial society financing their exploration of the galaxy through production of small arms and armor favor heavy materials offering solely defense okay and the Jedi robe defense bonus one regenerate force points one members of the Jedi order typically wear plain and unassuming garments just looks better. We'll use this one. The other one might be used in battle because it's better at defending us than the Jedi robe. Speak to this. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. When you lost your hand, I felt it too. That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. <clears throat> if I could, I would have protected you. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. Looks to me like you're the one who needs help. Or two, seems to me you need to learn to listen. Three, if you travel together, then we need to work together. Four, if I, fe if I felt the loss of your hand, what would have happened if you had died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. 
more extreme huh? F felt like my hand was dipped in molten carbonite then the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that though much quicker quicker would it have killed me Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Right, what can we do? I don't want my actions to place you at risk or two. Then we'll work together and try to, to be careful until we can fix this. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. All right. How could this bond have happened? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong, and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. You and Kreia possess the force chain special ability. When either of you uses a force power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. So what do we know? So what do we know? So what do we do now? I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. There must be some place we can go. Is there any place where we can retreat to? can't keep running and they uh, until they catch us we're at the, uh, yeah. we'll go for one it does not matter where we go it is not the destination that matters it is the journey all paths will take us to the end whatever it may be and no matter how strongly we fight against it for now we are bound for Telos and that is enough okay we are bound again enough for what um there are other questions, uh, too. Enough for what? Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Telos to serve the galaxy, not as Jedi Knights, but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Telos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. All right. And if we find no trace of Jedi teachings on Telos to help us... Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you and your ability to meet what comes. Okay, there are other questions I wish to ask you. Or, yeah, go for ask, ask. And I will answer. <clears throat> I need to know more about the Sith hunting us. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. First split? Yes. The Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it, as Malak did. <clears throat> so these Sis continue the crusade. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. I've never seen Sith assassins like those and the Harbinger. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes. 
or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. <coughs> there were other questions I wanted to ask you. Ask, and I... Uh, when we were on Pergus, I could tell, uh, I could feel the force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? No, it felt different, faint. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the force. Wait, the Jedi did this to me. Two, if they were responsible, they had no right. Three, I don't believe the Jedi would do such a thing. Go for one. What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? It's not possible to cut one off of the Force. It's like deafening someone or blinding them. Two, to cut one off from the Force is like losing all your senses at once. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own, and exiled them as they did you. Okay, I don't believe the Jedi would inflict such a punishment on someone, it seems too cruel, too. And there must be a way to re reverse what they did. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. <clears throat> you said it's possible, how? Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. <clears throat> there are no more Jedi. Or two, I will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Or you, train me, I can barely stand. Or four, I am my own master, I have no need for teachers, or of teachers. I will go for, I will honor. Do not honor me, fallen Jedi. Honor it by listening and learning. Do that, and perhaps we shall survive this thing, you and I. I offer to train you to become strong again to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. All right, I would welcome whatever aid you can offer. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. There are other questions I wanted to ask you. Ask. Can you tell me what happened since the Mandal Mandalorian Wars? Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence. And since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. Tell me about the Man Mandalorian Wars. It is a tale you already know well. Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. The Jedi Council didn't help. Only a few of the Jedi Knights did. There were... Um, but only some Jedi Knights answered the call, like I did. Indeed. The Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the Outer Rim burned. And Revan and Malak refused to wait. Two Jedi Knights, Revan and Malak, defied the Jedi Council. They challenged the Mandalorian fierceness and brutality on the battlefield with a viciousness of their own. Revan's entrance into the conflict marked the true beginning and end of the war. It was Revan who drove the Mandalorians back into the unknown regions. All right, until we destroy them. Malachor V. Yes, I have heard tales of Malachor V and Revan's part in it. I know you served there in that final battle. It must have been a terrible thing. Many Jedi died at Malachor V, and the conflict split the Jedi Order. You speak the truth. The war's end was merely another beginning, and what seemed a victory for the Republic was far from it. Many believed the Mandalorians defeated at Malachor V, but the Mandalorians taught the Jedi much through battle, and so it was that Malak, Revan, and the Jedi that followed them discovered their true natures in the Mandalorian Crusade. But you know this. All right, I felt them fall. The war had 
Soon them, or two, some battles must be fought. It was not Revan's f failing. Three, and if I could, I would have followed them. Four, and know this part. What happened after the war? I go for. I felt them fall. The war had consumed them. Consumed them? No. Taught them. Defined them. Yes. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. And what was the Jedi Civil War? Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. Have Malak and the Sith defeated? As all Sith do without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. What happened to Revan? No one knows, certainly not I. Korriban lies in ruins, Revan is gone, and the blade of war she promised to stab into the heart of the galaxy has withdrawn. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. So Revan saved the Republic? It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Then we must do what we can until it has a chance to recover from the war. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves, or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath, and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. Um, can anything be done to help the Republic? Two, the Republic has avoided its fate for too long. Let them burn. Three, perhaps it's better to... Perhaps it is better the Republic stands on its own. We'll go for one. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead, or refugees, it is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. <clears throat> this threat is uh, directed against me. What do you mean? You go for a the Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. <clears throat> there are other questions I wanted to ask you. Ask. Okay. Much I think I've heard enough. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Okay. One. The fool has a name. I'd like you to start using it. Two. He's not a fool, but he does feel odd to me. Three. Atten isn't so bad. Just, well, maybe he is. Four. I'll crack his skull into the bulkhead if he tries. Or five. We'll do. We'll go see him now. Ronald and try added. Light side points gain. Influence gain. Crea. Influence light. Crea. 
Yeah, we can affect our allies in this game, unlike in, in the first Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic game, you could only affect your own relations and the other friends of yours. We are either bad or good, and could it be changed in this game? The companions will change together with the hero. So if the hero is evil, the companions will become evil too. As far as I understand it. So you affect the companions too based on what you do. How's our passenger? She's still aging? Cryptic as always, or someone without much to say. She sure says a lot. Tree seems fine, just need some rest. Well, she sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. <clears throat> good looking? Are you that desperate, too? She looks good to you. You must have taken a blaster hit when I weren't looking. Tree, hard living. Yeah. Her face looks like it was plowed by crazed Ord Mantell farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. One look. Ease off the insults. She was wonderful. She was wounded helping us escape, remember? Two. Never mind. I wanted to ask you some questions. Three. Are we still on course for tell us? Uh, or four. Let's focus on getting to tell us for the time being. Five. Just cut the shatter and stick to the piloting. Okay. Never mind. I want to ask you some questions. No, we'll go for. We're still on course for tell us. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Never mind. I wanted to ask you some questions. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look. I respect your privacy. I mean, when have I ever asked you any questions? I mean, besides that one. <clears throat> what did you mean about the galaxy map not being much use? Well, the astrogation system is voice printed and locked down. But that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal the ship, we should be all right. Who always printed the ast astrogation system? I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? I'd love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. Why would someone lock the astrogation system? Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system, or knowing where the ship had been. Smugglers do it all the time in case the Republic decides to board them. Or, so I hear. Okay, do you know anything about that HK assassin droid? No, not much. Except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. What would make droids go crazy like that? <laughs> yeah, well you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. That one we fought, some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor's long overdue. <laughs> Trust me, droids were made to break. And most of all, they're predictable and stupid. What did you mean about... Um, let's focus on getting to tell us for the time being. So? What happened? To what? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Um, let's see, my lightsaber was taken from me by the council, or... Exiles aren't allowed to keep their lightsabers. Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? I was single hilt. Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Actually, it was. The crystal was redder than a... Tigrex eye. Ligrex eye. Great. Maybe you and that Sith Lord can have a party after we're dead. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. 
Might make those sit think twice before coming after us. It's no matter. <clears throat> it was taken from me long ago. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. All right. Save here. Hello, Citadel Station. We go there. Travel. sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion, well, here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Grin, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. <coughs> I'm under arrest. You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. I'll be able to get my gear back, I understand, or... This is outrageous. You don't have any evidence. You were the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. Will I be able to get my gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? I do. I cooperate. No, why are you holding us? Tree. TSF can't hold me for anything. You're leaving right now, do you understand? You'll go for one. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. That's probably a Jedi. Frame is short. Would have wanted a mod. That character. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. I understand. Faith has, has, has some questions. Force cage. This is ridiculous. Wait, I have some questions. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. You're wrong. I'm no Jedi. What do go? What's going on? Tree, let me out of this cage and we'll see how disappointed you are. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. 
You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. <clears throat> We're in the in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with this? Why are you here? Let's get this over with. Go for two. Like I said, the exchange has put out a huge bounty on Jedi. I'm just looking forward to early retirement. <clears> okay. <throat> One. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Okay. I don't wish to fight you or your body's staying right here or three. Let's get this over with. We'll go for two. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Yeah, the air funnel and try added. We'll attack him now. powers you can fight bare handed the security cameras are what what's going on here man down quick call a medic all right Jedi I want you to back up slowly hands in front of you into the force cage cooperate and we won't have to gun you down come on lieutenant they've already killed uh, oh, who is that is that Batu Ram said he was an assassin. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. It's going to happen now. Two. I did really manage to sneak in here. Three. I'm glad someone noticed that only, that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Alright. Best of your ability, that's not very inspiring. Just take me to my quarters. Officer, got Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? How long will I be here? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to, to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. Do you think, Rhea? We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Rest. Ring, ring. Except call. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza. Representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Gren's cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. 
Yes, please send him in. Very well. I'll let him in now. Thank you for seeing me. I am Musa. I have come to see you on behalf of whoever. On behalf of Shodo, Habat, our leader here. What is this about? Are you familiar with the restoration project? Will tell us. No, could you explain it please? The surface of Talos was destroyed in Yet I still hope. read it without uh, reading it loud. No, what troubles have you had? Okay, why would Zerka do this? I wonder that myself. Does one of the largest weapons manufacturers in the galaxy own it? How did it take the restoration zones? So how, how could I help? Heal me. Perhaps Shoda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. I'll speak with your leader when I'm freed. Ah, this pleases me. Perhaps we'll speak later then. Farewell. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Rest again. Ring ring. Drone will try added. Accept call. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am Jana Lorso. Are calling? I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Imposed guilt? Go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, 
whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Have you have the Litorians in the way of things? Or what sort of work are we talking about? I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Come by when I can. Oh, excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation. I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Rest. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman. Or a man. A child. But to lose so much. I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability. For a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Why is the Republic sending a ship? To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. How long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. Is the Ebon Hawk still impounded? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. What about my T3 droid? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Evan Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shaddaa, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. You know that from experience? Why do we need to leave? Or what do you think, Treya? Let's not discuss this now. You go for one, or... You go for one. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Why do we need to leave? Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Why would Telos be doomed? Because it depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility, and the bickering Senators? <laughs> Not something worth counting on. Okay. What do you think, Kreia? It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason. But we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. 
Jedi who might help us restore your abilities or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Stay your explorer. Tell us. We need the ship. Let's find Ebon Hawk. Two, why don't we ask the Republic for help against the Sith? Three, other Jedi. We shall see if we can find anything out there. It is unlikely, but we shall see. Ronald then try added. Yes? Have you come with questions? I want you to teach me more about the Force. Very well. What is it that drives you? The bond we share. You would know more about it. I confess its nature eludes me as well. But the bond is strong, and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. What about... When we fight on our journey. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. Does this bond have any advantages? It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. You and Cray possess the force sheer ability, yeah? A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. <clears throat> I want you to teach me more about the Force. Very well. I, um, I want to build a lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? To defend you and my allies. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. How do I make one? The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place. Okay. Very well. Can you teach me any lightsaber forms? The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Okay. Very well. I wish to know more about the force forms. Very well. Of which did you wish instruction? I want you to teach me more about the force. Very well. What is it that drives you? Okay, I have no other question. Ask, and I will answer. Do you know anything about the Sith who pursue us? Nothing more than we already know, and anything else I know would be useless. There is danger in such knowledge, even if I was certain of the ones who hunt you. Okay, never mind, I'll be gone now. I take one skate. Something up? Can you teach me to play Pesak? No, never mind. I don't care about the Pesak game. We'll save here. New save. And here is where we will end because this is the very spot where we ended in on the DVD version of the game, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, Kutor 2, this is Lord. See that the graphics are way better here. Okay, so we will exit. And uh, yeah, we are using the Sith Lords restored restored content modification version 1.8.6. So it's still in use. Okay, very good. Thank you for watching. Bye.